nothing screams by me more than this like just beautiful mold just coming right on the front of the house dude by me This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Holton Wise TV, the realest real estate show on the Internet. Dude, that's a – what do you think of that, dude? Is that a pretty gnarly uh... – Gnarly catchphrase? Should I incorporate that? The realist. <laughs> the realist. <laughs> real estate. Come on, man. It's good. I'm your host, James Wise. All right. This is the MLS Search Analysis Show. This is where I work with investors like you to buy houses like this. And sometimes they look like dogs. They look like shit. This house is a dog. This house looks like shit. Fuck this house. This house is just gross. And that is why I love it. And that's why you love it, Rock. Dude, this is going to be gnarly. This is like my favorite type uh, of investment because it turns off everyone, okay? 1365 East Avenue, Elyria, just hit the market four days ago. They listed it at 50 k but I believe we could come in and lowball these people, right? And this is why, dude. This is this is like the best scenario for us Burr investors, okay? So you got this house. Yeah, dude, I'm making fun of it, right? It's got fucking gross-ass mold. and it just, I mean, it just looks like crap overall, right? Like this is the inside of the house, okay? It's an owner-occupant. It's dated. It's it's it's, it's just gross, right? I, I mean, I haven't personally been in the house, but it looks like it smells like your grandpa smokes three packs of cigarettes a day, right? It just looks like there's a, a lot of marble reds going on, right? It's cluttered. Okay, there's just crap everywhere. Nothing looks nice. Nothing looks appealing, right? Like, nobody sees this house and is like, oh, my God, I can't wait to raise the family here, which is awesome, okay? There's two kinds of people that buy houses, bro. Investors like you, people looking for money, okay? And then there's people that want to buy it to live in it. What this is, it's not tenant occupied. It's oh, it's occupied by the same owner, owner-occupant person, right? So they're trying to sell us to two different groups of people. Well, let's start with the owner-occupied people. Dude, this is like the hardest property in the world to sell to owner-occupied people, right? There's like, what is the listing agent supposed to like talk about and, and, and like discuss as far as like selling features? Like, hey, here's this house, like, it ain't nice, but like it's here, right? Like, what what is there? Like, there's no like, there's no like nice features about it, right? Like, what are they supposed to say? In addition, you got people living there, dude. It's so hard to like coordinate showings uh, with like buyers, buyers agents, sellers agents, sellers. Like, it, it's a whole nightmare, and you got COVID going on. Blah blah. blah. It, it's a whole mess, right? So like. It's not very attractive to the owner-occupied population, right? If you're a first-time home buyer and you're dreaming of your own home, I don't think it's that, right? Hey, lenders. Our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. And then it takes you to people like you, Rock, people that are trying to make cash flow, trying to treat it as a monetary investment, right? But there's no tenant in there. It's just got the owner in there. So it's just like, ah, they got to do this work. There's like mold growing, blah, 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 blah. So I don't think there's a lot of people focusing on it. And as far as the price point, it feels a little high for a bird deal, which is perfect because that's where me and you are going to come in. We're going to lowball these people based on all that. We're going to try to get them to accept 40. And I think we will get them to accept 40, right? Because the other deal I sent you at 35 Priced much lower. More people are paying attention to it. People are setting up auto searches to only set them properties under like X amount. This, they priced it too high in my opinion. And it's just going to let a lot of people down. Not a lot of eyeballs on it, right? I think that leaves me and you the opportunity to swoop in. Yo, boom, cash. Let's do it. 40 Gs, right? As far as the rental budget, it looks ugly. It looks gross. It's really not that bad. It's just really just cosmetics, dude. It's just cosmetic crap, right? So 20 Gs. We'll knock out the majority of that. We'll, we'll, we'll get it not looking like your grandpa smoking three packs of cigarettes in there. Fresh paint, flooring, 
Uh, Home Depot, Lowe's quality uh, fixtures, cabinetry in the kitchen and the bath. Of course, the floor will be vinyl lure and it will match. The rest of the house, agreeable gray, white trim as far as the flooring and the rest of the house go. If there's ex uh, existing hardwoods, we'll expose that, buff that out. If not, we could either do vinyl lure, possibly carpet, more likely vinyl lure though, right? So we'll make it banging for 20 Gs. I threw in an extra five in there because you got things like the hot water tank, the furnace, the roof. I don't don't know what of those we're going to need to do post inspection we'll have more info but i want you to budget at least five assuming you're going to have to either do like a five thousand dollar roof or knock out a three thousand dollar furnace or a one thousand dollar hot water tank or a combination right but after that oh boy smooth sailing dude it's three beds so we'll get a thousand bucks a month on section eight 12 g's a year i anticipate you spend a little bit over half you're going to bring home a little bit less than half it's an 8.8 .8 cap at the target price of 40 g's okay 40 g's plus a 25k reno so a total investment of 65 g's and that's where it gets freaking good dude because we're going to be able to get this thing in my opinion to appraise at 80 it appraises at 80, bank gives you back 60. Do the math, dog. You only spent 65, the bank's giving you back 60. You only got $5,000 into this son bitch. That's a 59% cash on cash return, dude. That's why when I see things like this, dude, when I when I see houses that just don't appeal to anybody, right? Like this like nobody sees this and is like nobody sees this and like sends it to their wife is like, "Oh my god, honey, it's our dream house," right? Like Nothing is appealing about that, bro. And that's where people like me and people like you step in and make some money. So let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.